how much money do you think 1 million views on YouTube can make? A few months ago, I made a video about my friend's tiny apartment in Paris and that video completely blew up. 1 million views. It's insane. It's absolutely nuts. I know. And in this video, I'm going to share with you three things. One, what did I learn about making a video on YouTube get more views? Two, what happened after that and how did it affect my channel? And three, how much money did I actually make with YouTube AdSense on that video alone? Big shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, but more on them a little later. First and foremost, what makes a video blow up? I mean, I don't know that for sure, but I can tell you what made this video a little different from my other videos and also just like my observation by looking at other viral videos on YouTube. I feel like YouTube primarily looks at four things to figure out whether a video is worth pushing to more people or not, essentially making it viral in a way. The first thing is how many people actually click on the video after seeing it on YouTube, like through the title and thumbnail. The second thing is how many people are actually watching through the entire video after clicking on it. The third thing is how many people are commenting on the video and creating a genuine conversation in the comments of the video. And the fourth thing is how many people are coming to the video from outside of YouTube in addition to all the previous things that I mentioned. Of course, there's probably many more things, but these are the four main things that I've kind of observed that made this video very different from my other videos. Essentially, YouTube is looking for videos that get people to click, watch the entire video, and even bring more viewers to the video from outside of YouTube. I think it kind of makes sense. I mean, YouTube is just trying to optimize for getting people to spend more time on the platform. So how did I choose the topic for this video? I absolutely love watching apartment tours, particularly tiny apartment tours on YouTube. And so one day I was chatting with my friend Vikram and he told me that he lives in a small nine meter square apartment in Paris. And I was like, yo, I think that's a great idea for a video. Can I shoot a tour of, of your apartment? We agreed to meet one evening to shoot the apartment tour, cook and have dinner together, have a good time. And that's what we did. We shot the video. It was awesome. We had a lot of fun. But the next part was packaging the video to make sure people actually click on it and editing it to make sure that people actually watch the entire video and it's not boring. So how did I do that? How did I choose the title and the thumbnail? I chose this photo of Vikram where he's standing in the apartment and his arms are almost touching the walls. It really accentuates the fact that the apartment is tiny. I thought that it showed exactly how small the place is and that way building more curiosity. I also titled the video nine meter square tiny studio apartment tour in Paris. How much does it cost? Because I was thinking that leaving out the rent would make people a little bit more curious. Did that work? I'll tell you about that a little later. Next, I needed people to watch through the entire video. How did I do that? One thing I really believe led to the success of this video was the intro. <laughs> <laughs> Things get cozy here. <laughs> This is where you make a move. Yeah. It forces you to make a move. <laughs> We started off with like a funny cheeky joke, both of us were in a tiny elevator and we were laughing, having a good time and I think that's what set the tone for the rest of the video. And right after that we jumped straight into the title sequence and the music and then the rest of the video. My biggest learning was that the first 5 to 10 seconds of a YouTube video are the most important because those are the ones that set the tone for the rest of the video and get people to watch the video for much longer. I also followed this other rule that I came across somewhere which is that the video should not be boring at any time. Time. There should be no spot in the video that can cause someone to drop off. Every part of the video should be intentional and should have a purpose and it should be catchy and always leaving the viewer anticipating the next part. And so when I was editing, I made sure that I kept the edit as tight as possible. Every part was high energy and I made sure that there was no reason for anyone to drop off. After doing all of this, did it really work immediately? Not really. In the first one month after uploading the video, the video actually only just got as many views as my other videos do, which is around 2000 or so views in the first one month. But then I did something that changed everything for that video and led to the video blowing up almost immediately after I did it. I've been making YouTube videos for seven years now and I'd been waiting for this moment for seven whole years. During that time, I did a lot of trial and error. I made so many mistakes. I've been learning a lot on the internet on how to get better at YouTube. And I believe that even one insight that you apply can completely change the trajectory of your channel and of your life. That's what happened to me in a little way with this viral video. And I'll share with you the insight, but right after I talk about Skillshare, the sponsor of today's video. On Skillshare, there's so many courses about YouTube growth and literally any other topic. But the best part for me is the ability to learn from YouTube masters like MKBHD, Nathaniel Drew, Lily Singh, Ali Abdal. They all have courses on Skillshare. The course, social media success, video storytelling on YouTube and beyond by Lily Singh. 
That course helped me out a lot in figuring out how to set goals, generate new ideas, write scripts, edit, shoot, all those things. And I really got to learn the behind the scenes of Lily's process of YouTube filmmaking. And that kind of stuff can be super valuable. And as I said, even one insight can completely change the way you look at things. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes on a variety of different topics. And it's for anyone that loves learning, wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Because by learning new skills, you'll be investing in yourself and in your personal growth. With Skillshare, I've been able to level up as a creator, as a professional, and also just explore new hobbies that I didn't know that I was interested in. I know I've got a lot out of Skillshare and I want you to as well and that's why the first thousand people to use my link will get a one month free trial to Skillshare and that way you can try it out for yourself no strings attached at all. Now let's get back into the video to share with you that one insight that changed everything for this video. Somewhere online I came across this piece of advice that told me to focus on the first three words of the title of the video and make sure that the first three words of the title of the video reflect what the video is about and that's why I decided to change the title of the video from nine meter square tiny studio apartment tour in Paris, how much did it cost, to tiny Paris apartment tour, 9 meter square for 750 euros. I made sure that the first three words, tiny Paris apartment, they reflect what the video is about. And I also added the rent into the title as well. And that's when the video completely started blowing up. After I did that, the video first started getting thousands of new views every single day. And then that turned into tens of thousands of views every single day. I think there were some days that the video was getting like 30 or 40,000 views every day, which was insane. Within one month of changing the title, the video had over a hundred thousand views and within a month after that it had over half a million views which is absolutely nuts and then it took two months after that to reach a million views a million views that's insane like I never ever thought that this would happen but yeah I mean when I saw that number, I was like, damn, this is insane. This is what I dreamed of my entire YouTube career for the last seven years. But what happened next? Number one, I got a lot of new subscribers. I got 3000 new subscribers from that video alone. And during that period, my channel grew from 14,000 to 20,000 subscribers. So I got like 6,000 new subscribers during that time. Also, I did five more apartment tours after this one. When I saw that this kind of video was working, I decided to ride that wave and do more apartment tours. This way, when somebody discovers the viral video, they have five other videos to watch on my channel which are related to that so they just go in a series and that way my entire channel gets a lift another wild thing that happened was that i was featured on greek media one morning i woke up to a message from one of my greek friends and he sends me a link of a greek news website where they wrote an article about this video which was absolutely unexpected and wild and finally i made a little bit of money through youtube adsense on this video 1200 euros so far and that's before taxes of course that's the wild thing about youtube you never know which video of yours is gonna blow up and when like this video blew up one month after i uploaded it which i mean it's insane like you can just never predict it and when something like that happens it can change the trajectory of your channel and even of your life so you just gotta keep going and you gotta keep making videos that you're proud of and i know that's what i'm gonna keep doing that's it for this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up it helps me out a lot for the algorithm and otherwise hit that subscribe button for more videos every single week all right see you guys in the next one